Welcome back to NZI Business. Well, as you've heard in the news this morning, Cabinet is expected to discuss the future of ailing finance company South Canterbury Finance today, ahead of its deadline tomorrow to secure a major new investor. Well, joining me now is Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz. Good morning, Bernard. Good morning. What do we know about this government proposal that is supposedly doing the rounds? Well, the suggestion is that the government would buy South Canterbury Finance's bad bank. There's potentially about half a billion dollars worth of loans that aren't performing, are in trouble, often to property developers. And the theory is the government would, would buy that for half a billion. That would help uh, the recapitalisation proposal that's coming in from other investors for the rest of South Canterbury Finance, the so-called good bank. Now, we, we don't know whether the government's decided whether to go with this or not. Uh, we heard from Alan Hubbard in an inter interview on Friday night that the government wasn't interested in buying this bad bank. But there are some real uh, questions for the government here about the impact on the rural economy in the South Island. South Canterbury Finance is in various ways intertwined within the rural economy, particularly dairy farming in the South Island. And so the government will have to think about the impact for that and also on its own finances. If a receivership is triggered, the government will have to come up with around $1.7 billion at fairly short order. Some people think this may pressure New Zealand's sovereign credit rating. I personally don't think that, but it's something that the government has to consider. What, are we at the stage, if they don't get the government assistance in terms of the bailout, is that it? I mean, as far as you're, 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 you understand? That, that is absolutely it. They're either in receivership today or at the most tomorrow, or they've been recapitalised. Because, frankly, they've run out of cash. As at last Monday, South Canterbury Finance had just over $10 million in cash in the bank. Now that's enough to keep it going for a week, maybe 10 days at the most. So they'll be run out, they will have run out of cash by probably the middle of this week, according to the, 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 the accounts that they've got out in their, in their last, last, last amended prospectus. It's part of the problem here that if South Canterbury goes out of that rural sector in the South Island, there's nobody else to step into the breach. No other banks would take up that lending. That's right, particularly for a lot of these loans which are non-performing. Effectively, this becomes a trigger for a receivership liquidation of many of these assets, including uh, rural farmland. And this becomes a risk for the government. If you immediately have a fire sale, uh, depending on what the receiver does, for these farms, and there are about uh, 25 farms associated with Aorangi, and then we have Dairy Holdings, New Zealand's largest a dairy farmer, over 1% of Fonterra's output, you could have a significant drop down in dairy land prices in the South Island. Now that then becomes an issue for everyone, mm. particularly for the major banks who have lent, depending on how you measure it, upwards of 5 to $10 billion to that dairy conversion farmland in the South Island. Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz, thank you very much for your time.